Here in California, a team is preparing to launch homemade spacecraft, but it's not your typical mission. They want to see how Google's new Nexus S phone holds up at altitudes greater than 30,000 meters. The phone has a number of sensors, like an accelerometer, a gyroscope, and of course, a camera. So we hope to get some uh, really cool pictures. Uh, we hope also to get a chance to run some of the sensors against uh, uh, some, some pretty harsh conditions. We hope to uh, get some idea of what types of forces the uh, balloon is subject to. The setup is surprisingly simple. They've taken a styrofoam beer cooler, cut out one side, and attached the phone along with radio transmitters and extra cameras. It's actually a really easy project to do. Um, you can do it for fairly cheaply if you can find a phone to do it with. Um, really less than $500, um, especially if you have the phone doing the transmission of the uh, current location. Prior to having phones to set up, you'd have to construct the microcontroller yourself, add batteries, add all the sensors yourself, and that would be a lot more trouble. Once aloft, the balloons will soar upwards at between 3 and 7 meters per second. They'll pop when they reach an altitude of about 30,000 meters and send the payloads back to Earth. We have one more minute until we it can take up to 30 minutes before they hit the ground, and horizontal winds will blow them off course. The last launch we did was about 150 miles. We're hoping these will stay within 200 miles, um, hopefully even less. Seven balloons were launched, and six have since been recovered. Now engineers are sifting through pictures from near space and a ton of sensor data. For the moment, it's all fun and games, but Google is hoping to incorporate technology from its latest phone into the next generation of cheap commodity satellites.